a roadrunner that lives up to its name. Today, cars with factory-installed 426 Hemi V8s are some of the highest-valued muscle cars in existence. The lure of limited production quantities and the power of the 426 Hemi combine to drive the price tags of these cars far beyond the average collector. But ironically, the same thing was happening back in the late 1960s, although to a much lesser degree than today. Plymouth executives recognized that early muscle cars were strippers. They were lightweight, low buck sedans with the biggest engine possible stuffed between the fenders and they were within the grasp of most average car buyers. However, as the years progressed, they noticed that many muscle cars were becoming more and more complex with more add-ons and features. And these included better brakes, automatic transmissions, bucket seats, consoles, air conditioning, scoops, wings, special paint, fancy wheels, AM, FM, A-Track radios, and more. And the prices were going up as well. So by 1968, Plymouth debuted the Roadrunner, a car designed to be a low-buck, true-to-form muscle car with nothing fancy inside except for a powerful engine under the hood and some suspension parts to keep the thing straight when it was going at high speeds. The new Roadrunner stickered at around 2800 bucks with the base 383 under the hood, and the mighty 426 Hemi could be added for about another $700. And this Alpine white version we see here today is a perfect example of what the Roadrunner was all about. It seems that some cars' names don't really live up to the personality of the car, but that's not the case with this 1968 Plymouth Roadrunner. These badges tell no lies thanks to the 425 horsepower Chrysler Hemi under the hood. In their attempts to keep the cost down, the Roadrunner started as an extremely basic version of the Belvedere. There are many common features that are missing from the Roadrunner, like you will not find carpet as you will see a black rubber floor mat instead. It did not come with fancy bucket seats or a stylish center console with a floor shift. Instead, a big, wide, flat, cloth-covered bench seat gave the driver and friends a place to sit. It has basic instrumentation and the dashboard is home to a heater and an AM radio. It does not roll on fancy chrome wheels and you will see a lack of racy stripes. But what this car does have is a 425 horsepower 426 Hemi under the hood giving it enough attitude to be intimidating even when painted milky white. Muscle car fans have always liked the Roadrunner for its clean styling and aggressive personality. So it seems contradictory that they marketed this car with a cartoon character, because there's nothing silly about a Hemi Roadrunner. This particular car was built on Monday, June 17, 1968, and is one of only 391 426 Hemi-powered Roadrunners fitted with the heavy-duty Torque Flight automatic transmission. An eight and three-quarter inch sure grip rear axle with 323 to one rear gears transfers all that power to the 15 inch red stripe bias ply tires. Of course, until that red stripe disappears into a cloud of white tire smoke. This one is a hard top, which was an optional body style over the base post sedan. But other than the deluxe cloth bench seat interior and the optional 426 Hemi, this is still a no frills kind of ride. The Brothers Collection is home to unrestored muscle cars as well as like new cars that have been completely restored. But this Roadrunner kind of splits the difference. It was repainted back in the mid 80s and the Alpine white paint you see here is over 30 years old. The bench seat was recovered in the early 2000s, and the driveline is all correct for the car. So, what's all the fuss about a Hemi Roadrunner? How about a quarter mile time of 13.54 at 105 and a half miles an hour, as logged by Car and Driver magazine? The Hemi was an expensive upgrade, but it did get you a solid performer that was ready to go right off the showroom floor. And, at the end of the day, we like Ma Mopar's mission to bring performance back to the common customer.
These plain and simple Roadrunners are favorites in the Brothers collection. What do you think? Do you like them like this? Or do you like your muscle cars with bright colors, stripes and wings and fancy stuff? You can share your opinions on our Facebook page. And if you subscribe to the YouTube channel, you'll get an alert every time a new episode of Muscle Car of the Week goes live. See you next time.